Hey fourth grade, welcome to our last and final virtual lesson. We're going to change it up pretty dramatically this week and talk about the earth, the sun, and the moon. Here are the main points I'll be discussing. First, we'll start out with the powers of the sun, then the powers of the moon, then we'll get into the relationship of the sun, the earth, and the moon, talk about gravity and orbit, and also what rotation and revolution mean, and then we'll end with this week's project. So let's start by talking about the sun. First of all, what is it, and what is it made of, and what does it do? I want you to take a few seconds, and in your head, think about these questions and try to answer them. Simply put, the sun is a giant hot ball of glowing gases. The two gases called hydrogen and helium combine to make the sun and create its energy or heat. The reason the sun always looks so hot and bright is because these gases burn lots and lots of energy to make it so hot. Now let's talk about what the sun does, especially for humans. First of all, as we all know, the sun is what gives us heat and light. Now, if you remember from when we learned about photosynthesis, sunlight is food for what? Sunlight is the food for plants. And in turn, that gives humans energy, right? So the sun also gives us energy and food. Now, another thing most people know about the sun is that it controls weather. It gives us sunlight, meaning it changes the temperature. It gives us sunny days. And it also controls the water cycle because the sun is what evaporates the water. Now, let's move on to talk about Earth's other best friend, the moon. What is it? What is it made of? And what does it do? Again, I want you to think about these in your head for a few seconds. Well, the moon is a big old rock. It has a thick, rocky crust on the outside. Inside, it has pools of hardened lava. And it also has layers of solid and semi-solid rock. And in the core, right in the center, it's made out of iron. The moon is especially special to Earth because it's our only natural satellite. A satellite is an object that orbits planets and asteroids. So the moon basically is an object that orbits planets like the Earth. That's why it's so special. One of the main things that the moon does is orbit the Earth. Orbit is a vocabulary word that'll show up later in the video, but basically it's the path an object takes in space to go around another object. So we know that the moon goes around us, which is why we say it orbits the earth. Because it orbits the earth, it also causes a gravitational pull on us. This gravitational pull causes tides or waves in the ocean. So when you see the waves pull up and get higher and go down, that's all caused by the moon. One last cool thing that the moon does for us is that it protects the earth from asteroids. So when asteroids, which are big rocks in space, come flying close to the earth, the moon actually blocks most of them, protecting us. Moving on, let's talk about why exactly the sun and the moon have such a big influence on the Earth. Well, it's important to note how far the Earth is from each of them. It's 150 million kilometers away from the sun and 380,000 kilometers away from the moon. Those both seem like large distances, but they're actually pretty close in space-time. Here's another question for you. Which is the Earth closer to, the sun or the moon? Think about the two distances and compare them. The 
The right answer is the Earth is closer by far to the moon than it is closer to the sun. I sort of tricked you guys with the diagram to the right. It should actually look like this. The moon is a lot closer to the Earth and then the sun is a lot farther away but still close enough to keep us warm. We call this system of the sun, earth, moon order an alignment. An alignment is an arrangement of objects in relative positions. So when we talk about the sun, earth, moon alignment, we know that it goes sun, earth in the middle, and then moon. To be more accurate, the moon actually isn't always behind the earth. Like we said earlier, the moon orbits or goes around the earth. So it depends where in that cycle it is. If the moon is going around, sometimes it'll be behind the earth. Sometimes it'll be on the side closer to the sun. It all depends on its orbit. Here's what the moon looks like when it's orbiting the earth. See how it goes all the way around and it doesn't stop. It, it's been doing this for thousands of years and it will continue to do so for thousands and millions of years ahead. Now let's put the sun into the picture also. Do you see how the moon is going around the earth and the earth is going around the sun? Everything's turning or rotating, which is a vocab word that we're gonna learn right now. First, let's talk about gravity. Gravity is the force, invisible force, that pulls objects. For example, the moon pulls on Earth with its gravity. Our next word is orbit. Orbit is the path an object takes in space to go around another object. We talked about how the moon orbits the Earth, meaning the moon goes around the Earth. Our next word is rotation. Rotation is the circular movement of an object turning around on its axis. So the Earth, while we don't feel it, it's actually going around in a circular movement. It's rotating. The Earth's rotation takes 24 hours, or one whole day. And our last word is revolution. Not the American Revolution, but we're talking about space revolution. A revolution is the full cycle an object takes to go around another object. It's a very similar word to orbit. However, it's talking about the whole cycle. So the Earth orbits the Sun. When it orbits the Sun for a whole time and comes back to its original place, that's one revolution. The Earth's revolution around the Sun takes 365 days. That's what we call one year. Now that you've learned all the key vocabulary terms, I'm going to show you a few animations and ask you which vocabulary word is occurring? All right, are you ready? Here's your first question. What is the moon doing? Think of the vocab words orbit, rotation, and revolution. Here, the moon is orbiting or going around the earth. Here, what vocabulary word is the Earth doing? The Earth here is just rotating. It's turning, but it's not turning around anything else like the sun. So it's just rotating. Here is your last question there's more than one vocabulary word happening in here. Try to find out all of them. Let's see if you got these right. So first, the Earth is rotating because it's turning. Second, the moon is orbiting the Earth. And lastly, the Earth is orbiting the Sun to create one whole revolution.
By now, you should be able to describe the motions and relationship of the Sun, Earth, Moon system. For your project this week, you'll be completing an interactive scavenger hunt to find more information about the Sun, Earth, and Moon on a website. For this project, you will be taking a trip to outer space and explore the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun online. So hop on your spaceship and find out what makes our planet and the rocks around us so special. During your trip, you'll have the scavenger hunt worksheet to fill out. When you go to this website, earthsunmoon.pingmoreandbloom.com, you'll select how many people are in your group. You should be doing this alone, so you should select one. Then you'll meet this alien named Revo. He's very friendly, and he's going to guide you through with directions. Once you get on your spaceship, you're going to have to ride it all the way to Earth without hitting any asteroids or you'll have to start over. You can also shoot the asteroids. Then you're going to take turns clicking the Sun and the Earth and the Moon to find out more information about each one. Each slide will have important information that will give you the answers to the questions on the scavenger hunt, so make sure to read everything before you move on. That concludes our final virtual lesson. You guys did it, and I'm very proud of you. Let's get ready by completing our last week of lessons, and next week, we will be having a lot of fun activities before you go off to summer break. I'll see you during office hours and harambe.